In your manual, find quote number six. The forward policy of a great and self-respecting nation should be conducted on exactly the same plane of honor as when a brave and honorable man is dealing with his fellow... Who said this? Type in the last name and press enter. Hmm. Um... I think that was the Honorable Taylor Swift. I was correct! All right! Welcome, Gamer Nation. We're starting a new uh, Let's Play. This is part of the 2015 SKS Summer Game Blitz. Ooh. We are playing Shadow President. This is brought to you by Zeros. Let's see if we can get into the game here. After my Taylor Swift answer, I, I don't know if it'll take it. But anyway, if you're interested in the... Uh, I already did the uh, tutorial, so it should let me go past that. Um, but if you're interested in participating in the Summer Game Blitz, check the description below. You will find a link to the video and all the information thereof. Hooray! Um, escape. There we go. I guess it automatically starts. All right, so... In Shadow President, you play the President of the United States, and you are going to try to help the world out. So let's see what's going on. Um, table of contents, the hot spots. So we're going to see what's going on and see if anything big is hitting our uh, world. Our allies in conflict, allies with international internal crisis, popularity comment. All right. Uh, okay, I have to get used to this a little. Uh, good morning. Along with information your cabinet advisors have for you, I've summarized today's Priority One files to help in devising your agenda. So all of your your cabinet down here as president will give you information. So this is our chief of staff up here. Then we have our NSA, the National Security Advisor. <laughs> Not like they do anything nowadays. I mean, this game is about 1990, but, you know, we'll see. We have the Secretary of State, Secretary of Defense. We have the press secretary. That's the person who lies to the people. Uh, the director of the CIA and the economic advisor. So let's see what's uh, going on. Ah, uh, okay. Economic hotspots. Uh, per capita income. Mozambique. Cambodia. Ethiopia. Political hotspots. Aggressive. Iraq is being aggressive. The Soviet Union is being forceful and so is Iran. That is sad that this game takes place in 1990. And here we are, 25 years later, and two of the three things are still going on. So, yeah. Um, so, obviously, our, our worried countries is going to be Iraq and the Soviet Union, which that doesn't exist anymore. I wonder if we can break up the Soviet Union in this one. Uh, let's go on down here. Human rights hotspots. <laughs> 25 years later, two of the same parts. The ethnicity ratings, uh, China is, you know, in, you know, bad shape. Um, you know, so human rights for them, hmm, things have not changed there. Uh, Iraq, you know, we're still having problems there. Oh, and North Korea, how about that? Let's see, in total wars going on in Ethiopia, Afghanistan, and Lebanon. I have a list of all of our allies currently involved in a conflict situation who may need our help. Okay. Nobody. Well, that's good. Uh, the U.S. World Team Alliance, WTA, could have some severe internal problems. The following allies should be viewed at the country level, and the press secretary will have the situation documented. WTA internal crisis report. No. Okay, so there's nothing there. Your popularity levels are great at 50%. You have the public backing necessary for your political agendas. The election is two years from now. Okay. NSA. The NSA is the official political position who the United States is pals with in the North American region. The NSA also has today's top ten bad guys list. Ooh. Oh, I, want, I thought it was going to tell me the top ten bad guys. Secretary of State reports how anxious we are and what's bothering us. Plus the four and eight are... Okay. Secretary of Defense says that... It's, the global and uh, regional military strength of the United States. He's got today's top 10 military power list. Hmm. 
So these guys were the internet before you can look that up today. Press secretary. Check with the press secretary for the latest news update. She's got a listing of the world events by country available for your review. Ooh. Ooh. Well. CIA, as usual, the director has the United States ambition level. He's looking into threat anxieties of the North American region. Okay, so that's cool. Economic advisor, the quality of life. Uh, natural disasters listing. Fortunately, we've not had any more reports today, and that's good. Okay. Awesome. Let's see. Generating report. Let's see what the NSA has to tell us. That uh, the United States is a World Team Alliance leader in this region. Well, no shit. <laughs> the winning coalition includes the United States. <laughs> that made my day. Uh, the countries that pose the greatest world threat to us include Soviet Union, Soviet Union, Soviet Union, Iraq, Iran, North Korea, Syria, and Libya. Hmm. 25 years, nothing's been really fixed in the Middle East, either. That's not surprising. So we need allies in the Middle East. We need to actually give money. I wonder how our economy's doing. I'm kind of worried to look at that. In the North American region, I'm most concerned with the following countries. Cuba. I wouldn't mind overthrowing Cuba in this. Hmm. I wonder if that's possible. Can we do that? Can we kill their leader? I know that Kennedy tried that a long time ago, but I am no Kennedy. Um, United States, uh, let's see what else we have here. Concern for world standing, leadership effectiveness. Our GNP is only 5.6 trillion. Wow, our population, we're like 320 now. That's crazy. Um, Democratic, yes, yes. Um, our military influence is only 18.1%. That's... that bothers me. Huh. Winning World Coalition, United States and China. I wish China was our ally. Okay, yeah. Alright, let's take Secretary of State. What do you got for me? Uh, let's see. Our average anxiety level is 41.6. Issues that trouble our country the most are nuclear and military. Uh, well, no shit. Social outcry of the United States is 5.6. The higher the social outcry percentage, the more vulnerable our government becomes domestic public under... Okay, well, they're fine then. Uh, the following countries have the greatest need. Um... Desired amount, $573 billion, recommendation, 2.4 million. Wow. Oh, Pakistan wants a shit ton of money. Okay, well, I'm not giving anybody money yet. We need to fix our own shit. All right, let's, let's, let's talk, look at this. Oh, that looks like Colin Powell when he was younger. Oh, it's the Secretary of Defense. That makes sense. So yes, this game is brought to you by Zero, so we're going to find out where we're at and conclude what we can do. No, I'm not going to nuke the world. Oh, we're 18.1% of the total world military power. Hmm. We are number one out of six. We're number one out of military and number one in manpower regionally. We are the second largest. See, we've dropped down. Uh, what is it? China, India, and us now. Hmm. Back then, the Soviet Union was higher. I don't know. This, those numbers seem today, we look back and it doesn't seem they're very, you know, there. So... In North America, we're 19.5. Th thanks for helping out, Canada. Glad, glad you helped out. Uh, let's see. Is there anything really here? Countries or some form of conflict? Ethiopia. Okay. What? Location of station troops? Oh, okay. Canada, Germany, France. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
Okay, that's fine. Press secretary, what do you got for me? She's kind of hot. I bet I bang her in the evenings. Good morning. We have scanned the world media for significant events. In addition to your selected countries, in the United States, we have news from major powers. There's no news. No news. Yep, I'm totally banging her because she does not do her job, and yeah, that's how that works. All right, this dude's kind of got the Hitler look going on. The ambition level of the United States is 4.0, classified as forceful. Oh, shit. Well, no, duh. Uh, I pulled some coded data on pending covert actions from the Shadow Network Cypher Corps. Warning. Iraq, on July 28th, okay, that was a couple days ago, will possibly be performing a low-level military buildup. Warning. Iraq, on August 1st, 1990, will possibly be performing an urgent military buildup. So I guess the first thing you're going to run into on this game is the whole Iraq invasion of Kuwait. So, that's something we need to keep in mind on. Okay, and those numbers mean nothing to me yet because I don't want to break down that much data. Let's see what we got here. Uh, the quality of life was unchanged at 100%, so that means we have the best quality of life in the world. I don't think we're number one at that anymore. But, you know... We're still up there. Our internet brings us down. Okay. Eh, let's go to our country view. Let's see what we can bring up here. Ah, oh, look at this. There's Kentucky right there. Yeah, the time is running. Uh, I didn't know if I wanted the time to run or not. Display world, display city for selected country. So this, okay, you're not going to, okay, there it is. All right, so North America, we have great industrialization, we have great cities, our life is great, our military is represented here, here's our military capabilities, here's our production, and we have nuclear missiles. Hmm. Okay. Uh, let's look at our budget. That's probably something we need to take a look at. Let's see what we have here. Oh, we're losing 234 billion a year. I know why. Taxes are too high. I'm going to put that down to 15% or 15 cents. Corporate tax, we need to definitely put that down. Y'all gonna see, this is how you fix the world. Oh, that's too far. I want it to be a little bit above. There we go. Tariffs. Ah, if I increase that rate, people get pissed at me. Um... Let's reset social investment, foreign aid, we'll get pissed at. Um, let's give you a point there. Defense budget's fine. We're going to cut the sales tax. All right, so that says negative 305 right now. So we'll see if that changes any. Let's see if I know what I'm doing. So can I save? Do it. Do it now. Will you let me uh, name it? Will you let me name it? Oh, it will. Okay, good. Uh, exit this. Okay, so let's see what's going on over here in the Middle East. What is that rack doing? Go to regional view. That green on black there is killing me. Iraq, uh, they're concerned about nuclear threat, world standing, foreign spies, and economy. Kuwait, oh, they're upset about foreign spies. Hmm. 
go in and look at Kuwait. Oh, it's not going to show me anything else? Are you going to give me an update about them? No, I guess not. Oh, here we go. Ah, human rights, Kuwait. I don't know. What can we do for Kuwait? I don't want to send them more money yet. Oh, our, our world peace level is down to a cold peace. That music is ominous, too. Okay. Let's go back out to the world view. I don't like that if like I click on something. Nobody cares about Brazil. Hey, can we find people to trade with? That's what I want to know. Who's our trade person? My economic dude. Can I use you to trade? That's what we need to do. He's got it on Brazil because that's who I'm clicked on, isn't it? Yeah. Um, I want to know, regionally, I, I want to, ah, oh, shoot, I should have, uh, let me go back up to the world view, I want to trade with people in Europe, maybe, well, actually, let, let's see, let me go back to him, can you tell me who the top producers are right now in the world, West Europe, you have that on just countries? Oh, here we go. Uh, that's quality of life countries, but... Canada, Norway, and Switzerland. Can we trade with them? That's what I want to know. I want to make money. Okay, let's click on Canada. I want to unclick off Brazil. Thank you. Great budget view. What are you doing? Uh, you're not what I wanted to talk to either. I need to find what I need to find. Damn it. I want to click on Canada. There we go. Filter view. That's it. Uh, concern. Concern. Oh, shit. We've been informed that an assassination attempt took place in Poland. I have additional details whenever you are ready. Oh, crap. I thought she had to just... Okay, here we go. Uh, the major networks are reporting radical union members attempted to assassinate the leader of the country. Their effectiveness has been reduced by 15%. The assassination attempt was unsuccessful. Poland has issued a strong international statement of condemnment against the recent action by Poland. The result was successful. Oh, wow. Um, well, I don't want to trade with Poland. But I do want to try to figure out how to trade with uh, Canada. I think it's back on that filter view. economic growth rate world powers maybe this isn't what I needed to do I thought there would be oh here's what we needed uh, economic amount of remaining I'll go back over okay so increase foreign aid Increase foreign aid economic. Economic actions. Here we go. Mm -hmm. uh, current trade status. Most favored. Oh. Well, maybe I need to find somebody else. What's your advice? We'd be glad to advise you, but we need to know what action you're contemplating. Please select an action and call us again. Uh, how about that? 
Uh, this action is consistent with their policy toward Canada. Assuming Canada goes along, your leadership effectiveness will improve. If they refuse, your effectiveness will slide downward. Canada will see this action as confirmation of our current relationship. If successful, popularity ratings should move up. I can see how this might be in the best interest of the United States. I'm on the fence, but leaning toward this action. Well, that's, that's exactly what I want to do. Your suggestions for increasing investment spending are being transmitted now. We should see some results within the next week or so. Excellent. Somalia has surrendered. Ethiopia successfully defended itself. Oh, I was like, what the hell just happened? That was kind of scary. All right, who else? Uh oh, oh, shit. We have received notification that India failed in an attempt to improve their diplomatic relations with China. Oh. Whew. Um. Okay. Let's, uh. Japan. Can we, uh, trade more with you? Oh, our status with them is regulated. Huh. Uh, U.S. government promotes trade and investment between selected countries. What happens if we do this? I don't have a problem with this action. My staff and I think it ought to do it. If you think it's important, both countries will benefit from him, you know, most favored nation status. However, you'll want to look at the impact on popularity. Their economy will receive the greatest stimulus. Roughly speaking, our economy will increase by 5%. Their economy will push higher by 13. Hmm. Maybe I should stay with... Uh, let me check with West Europe. France is always a good trading person, right? Let's see, what happens when we do this with France? Uh, there, let's see, roughly speaking, our economy will increase by two. Theirs will push higher by 13. I need to see Selected countries, trading partners. Let's click on us. Okay, so there's countries we're not trading with. We're not trading with Mexico. We're not trading with France. So I would like to trade... Hmm. Let's see, before we end this episode, I want to do Japan, France, Brazil, and even Mexico. I think Mexico would promote peace in the area. Peace in the area. Okay, let's do Japan first, because that would give us a 5% increase pop. Okay. So economy. Give most favored status. Let's see, do you all still agree with this? What? Oh. We're on Japan. Yeah, okay. We're on Japan now. Let's see. Okay, yeah, that 5% a big deal. I will notify them. Let's see what Mexico. Uh, no, I want to switch to Mexico. Uh, current popularity. Oh, my popularity went up. We're on Mexico. We're giving them, let's see, uh, regulated. Let's see if we do this. Mexico will see this action as confirmation. Roughly speaking, our economy will increase by less than 1%. Ah, screw that. Uh, what about Brazil? Clear. Uh, let's see what we have here. Nope, less than 1%. So they're not big enough. So let's go back up to France. I wonder why we're not trading with France. Because 5 plus 2 is 7. 
go ahead and do that. Your operatives are now ready to start granting most favored status to Japan. Do you still wish to do it? Do it. Our nation has granted most favored nation status to Japan. I have prepared an executive summary. All its changes will result in action will be highlighted. Economic growth rate. Japan is going to go up. Fires. So... Japan is going to go up. We're going to go up a little bit, so that's pretty good, too. All right. Um, filter view again. Uh, average person earnings. Where are people earning a lot of money? Australia, if they're not on the most favored list, maybe they should be. Size of the economy, this would probably help too. To know who can actually support what they're doing. Oh, yeah, that that does make a big difference. Looks like Germany and Italy. Are we trading with Germany? Oh, they're already in the most favored, okay. So we're already trading with the bigger countries. What is our trade relations with the Soviet Union? Oh, they're on the most favored. No, we're not switching countries. Crap, I'm still doing this. Hold on. Restricted trade. What happens if we regulate trade with them? While this action is noble in its intent, the Soviet Union will likely view it with skepticism and resentment. Considering only the economic numbers, both countries will be helped. Their economy will receive the greatest stimulus, roughly speaking. Our economy will increase by seven. Theirs will push higher. We aren't on the best terms with the Soviet Union, due primarily to the ideological differences. Even though this is a positive action, it might be detrimental to the relationship. If successful, popularity ratings would move up, assuming there aren't many surprises. Generally, this action will put an upward pressure on your position in the polls. The ideology of the Soviet Union is at odds with ours. They will definitely question our motives. Probability of success is 95 to 100%. I think that I want to do the do this. Um, I think this will be if we can get the Russians on our side and start trading with them and make more money. I think that that will help defrost the Cold War. And I think that well, and I think that regulated trade. That's a step further and it is 1990 the, I mean theoretically in 89 the, code, the Berlin Wall falls all that let's do this alright and I think right there I'm going to go ahead and save the game and I'm going to get some feedback from you all and see what direction you want me to go into no I'm not going to bomb a country we're trying to see if we can do this professionally I will show off later how that you do the other part. But uh, again, this is part of the SKS Summer Game Blitz. This game was brought to you by Zeros. I am actually enjoyed playing this. Uh, um, now that I'm getting in there and seeing stuff happening, it is actually pretty engaging. And that's what I love about a video game. But as always, thanks for watching, and I will see you all next time. Good night, gamers.